What is going on? It's DJ Hero and my bro Jeremy. What's good? Bring you another video today. And today we're going to be focusing on the action cam as well as the instant cutter mode on Filmora 8.0. You know, giving you a little bit of a tutorial on how to use everything. Um, the interface looks pretty awesome. It's, it's actually even more simplistic as it was before. Um, but yeah, Jeremy's going to get into more of the details and, and what you can do with this new feature. So without further ado, Juju, Jeremy. All right. So first off, you're going to want to open up Filmora and right away, you're given four different options. So you can choose between action cam, full feature mode, easy mode, as well as instant cutter. But for this tutorial, we're going to show you how the action cam tool works. If you guys want to see how we edit our videos, please be sure to check out this video right here. We go more in depth on how we edit videos on the full feature mode quick little snippet to show you guys the different modes for the instant cutter mode it really is like the tool says which you import your file and you just cut clips and trim them to your liking and basically export from there for the easy mode it's very similar to the instant cutter where you import files but this time you can add different themes you could add background music change the style of the video and yeah that's pretty much it for the easy mode and like i said if you guys want to see a tutorial on the full feature mode please be sure to check out the link down in the description as well as this link up on the top right of the video it should be popping up right now and yeah we will be heading right into action cam tool the action cam is mainly used for in real life videos like vlogs or if you're doing sports something like that this will definitely help out your movement shots and yeah let's head right into it you're gonna want to import the file that you want to edit and keep in mind this editor mode allows you to edit one clip at a time after you've selected your clip you can head up to the options on the top left of the screen and there's three different panels and within each panel is different uh, effects and settings the first panel is fix and it has options for lens correction stabilization as well as audio denoiser and if you guys are using an action cam such as GoPros or something along those lines, it does give you options for those lens correction. But I used an iPhone for this shot right here. I essentially did not need it to correct the lens that I was using. But in order to use this effect correctly, you're going to want to use the settings that you shot the video in. Per se, you're using the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Be sure to select that in the box right there, as well as underneath is the frame rate. So whatever you shot in, if it's 4K, 1080p or 720p, be sure to select those. And then you can just use the adjust level underneath and you're good to go. As for stabilization, this will help any video that's pretty much shaky. If you have shaky hands like me when it comes to filming videos, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna use this effect right here. And you can adjust the level for the stabilization to your liking. The higher it is, the more it will flow. The less there is, the more shaky it will be so it's all preference if you guys want to play around with it you definitely can and as for the audio denoiser it helps get rid of background noise that's in your videos just like the stabilization you can adjust it to your liking and play around with it in the next panel it contains the speed of the video you can speed the whole video up or you can choose a piece of the clip to speed up and or slow down all the options are here once you add the marker it will show up on the bottom screen as a little rabbit so that little clip that is under the little rabbit is whatever is being sped up or slowed down if you guys want the whole video to be sped up slash slowed down or if you want a small piece make sure you click the corners of that little box and drag it to your liking underneath that is freeze frame and it's the opposite of the speed and it basically holds whatever clip that you want to be held as for right here i chose to freeze frame it and as you can see it held for one second you can always change the duration and yeah that's pretty much it and lastly for the color this is where your color correction goes on you can change the brightness contrast saturation temperature tint 
and even add a vignette around the corners of the video. If you guys don't want to play around with these settings, there's also the 3D LUT, which has presets for color grading. And there's a few options that you can use. And I actually chose the Walking Dead one because it has like this cool low tone that uh, I wanted to display in this clip right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the action cam tool. Once you're done with that, always be sure to export. It's at the bottom right of the program. And once you do so, make sure you change where you want to export the video and the quality of the video. Make sure the resolution is always to what you shot it at and the format, MP4 or MOV, either or is okay. It really is preference, but make sure the frame rate and the resolution are to how you shot the video initially. And you're pretty much set. You just wait for the video to export and you can upload straight to YouTube. So that wraps up this quick tutorial. Like I said, if you guys want a more in-depth video on how we edit on full feature mode, please be sure to check out the video down below. There's also the link up on the top right of the video as well. And yeah, thank you to Filmora for partnering with us on this video. We could not have done this without you guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys need any more help on these videos, please be sure to hit me up. I will definitely reply to anyone who needs help. If you guys have any more tips, also leave it down in the comments. And and with that being said, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.